That's it. I want to be a gaming YouTuber. I'm going to create really funny videos and have a really cool looking character. Except, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Hey kid, I heard you were having trouble creating your very own YouTube character. Get me an ambulance! Well today's your lucky day, kid. Because today, I'm going to teach you how to create and animate your very own YouTube character. Why do you keep doing this to me? With the exponential rise of AI and faceless automated YouTube channels, it's becoming increasingly harder to stand out. And unfortunately, it's only going to get harder. Mass-produced content machines tirelessly churn out video after video, optimizing them for virality with very little effort. The unique flair that once set individual creators apart now faces the risk of being drowned out in this torrent of automated channels. However, today, I'm gonna to show you something that a lot of you guys have requested. Something that will make your channels look out of this world compared to other faceless AI channels. And even if you're not a faceless channel, you can do this anyway, cause it's cool. And that is how to create and animate your very own personalized YouTube character. Why would I even have a YouTube character anyway? <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me show you why having your own YouTube character is a good idea. Let's start with brand identity. Your new YouTube character is your brand incarnate and represents you and the theme of your content, which is gonna help everyone instantly recognize your videos among all the other ones recommended to them. It also enhances your content, making it stand out from the crowd and gives your video a personal touch in a world where automated faceless content is exponentially rising. A YouTube character gives your videos that authentic oomph <clears throat> while staying anonymous that signifies that there's thought, creativity, and personal effort behind the content. All right, so you're probably wondering how to get started in creating a YouTube character. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the various steps where we're gonna brainstorm and plan out our character all the way to the advanced steps where we can also use AI and get our characters illustrated on thumbnails and even animated through Premiere Pro. But first, let's start with the basics. All right, level one brainstorming our personalized character. This is arguably gonna be the most important step for our character. We want our character to represent our channel's theme and also suit our niche. If we are, say, a channel dedicated to talking about horror stories and our character was a bright pink teddy bear, then it wouldn't really suit the theme. Actually, now that I say that, why does that kind of work? Now, I made multiple variants of my character back in the day. I wanted my character to reflect the type of games I played as I saw myself as more of a gaming channel back then. Originally, when Fortnite was just starting to pop off, they introduced a certain skin, which I was forced to buy against my will. This raptor skin looked familiar. So I took inspiration from this skin and sketched out my new character in Photoshop. But instead of keeping the balaclava yellow like in the game, I just changed it to my favorite color orange. The main thing was that the character had to be colorful and looked like he was from a comic in a sense, showing that my character was fun, zesty, and really cringe apparently. So all I want you to do is get out your notepad or Photoshop or even paint and draw yourself the first blueprint of your character that represents your channel's niche and your personality, making sure you include the character's clothing, the accessories. You know, why does he wear that outfit? Why these colors? Make sure you spend time thinking about these things as it'll be tough to change later down the road. Just remember to be unique so that your channel's branding stands out. You don't want to be a clone of someone else. Now let's get on to level two, which is digitalizing our character. Now, if you don't have Photoshop or any other programs that you can use to draw characters, and you really just want to get the character done as soon as possible, then the AI route is probably the best for you. I got to admit, I do feel like I shouldn't be giving this advice away. What you want to do is head on over to an AI image generating website like ChatGDP4. Now what we want to do is essentially trial and error creating prompts for our character and see if the AI image can generate the character from our sketches. Now this took me a little while for me to get correct and I had to ask the AI what prompt it would use to generate this sort of character. But I eventually got there and now I can consistently create images with my character in it. To make it easier for us though, what you want to do is you want to format your prompt into something like this. Create a 1920 by 1080 image in an art style of your choice, showcasing important details about your character. They are doing action or pose in a described environment. So the prompt I got for my character was create a cartoon slash anime style image showcasing a young 24 year old male with brown hair and a visible, uh, a visible fringe wearing an orange face mask and orange beanie. His eyes should be expressive and the only part of his face visible. He's dressed in a blue coat and using yellow headphones and he is doing action that I want him to do. The background is, and then I'd insert the background, or I could just leave it blank and then crop it out. 
And like 70% of the time, the AI would generate an image I'd be pretty happy with. You want your image of a character in an Arctic war zone looking like a boss? You want your character to be a god of destruction? You want to be a mega gym lad? No worries. Once I generated the image I was happy with, I would quickly pop it into an image editing software like Photoshop, and if it was for a thumbnail, I'd do my best using the Spot Healer tool and the brush to remove any mistakes. If it was for a character that would be animated on screen, then I would click on the Select tool to select my character and remove the background. Then if there was any minor warp features on the character, I would just blur them out or use the Spot Healer tool to correct them. After that, I would just export the character as a transparent PNG. Whip it up into Premiere, my editing software, and add it to the videos. Hey guys, what's up? It's me! <laughs> if you're looking to do this for your own channels, by the way, and don't actually have Photoshop or Premiere yet, then you can check out the link in the description to pick it up. And it also helps support me on these videos. Thanks, King. Now this does take some trial and error, but once you figure out the prompt for your character, the possibilities are literally endless. And this is a very loud chair. Now it's important to be patient with your prompts and have a few goes with the same prompt until you find an image you like. Just remember that mistakes can happen quite often with current stages of AI and that it might take a few times to get your prompts right. All right, now we are on level three. How to animate our new character. If you haven't already, open Premiere Pro and insert the character to where you want it to appear. Then what we want to do is select the keyframe tool for position on the top left under the editing tab. Go forward a couple frames and then drag it so the character is on the bottom left of the screen. Then it'll mess around with the velocity settings so that it looks like a little dome to give my character that smooth movement. If my character changes the motion, I simply just swap out the image and keyframe the opacity so that the transition looks smooth. Now you have the secret knowledge on how to create and animate your own YouTube characters. Now, if you're looking how to actually edit great looking videos with your new YouTube characters, then check out this video here. And if you don't, the world will blow up in like five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, maybe I was wrong.